Welcome, listeners. We have a, well, I guess this is the practical shooting after dark update, isn't it, Joel? Yeah, exactly. Uh, in a way, and to talk about many other things, because I've definitely been neglecting the YouTube channel. Um, you know why, Joel. I do. Okay, so I have been neglectful. I have not had as much time. Um, How dare you? It went, when, I think the last six, eight months, like, what has my schedule been like, Joel? Well, you're barely home. You don't play video games with me anymore. No, and, I don't. Uh, well, like last night, we talked to the phone for like an hour and a half. I was like, hey, are you sitting in an airport or driving? That was kind of what I figured. You're up to one of the two. You were shocked that I was in my house. Yeah, I was like, what? You're home? Like, I thought you had a gig this week. And like, oh, I didn't realize you were already home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so um, just with, I don't know. Right. I don't. Think, let me put it this way. I don't think getting kicked out of USPSA hurt my business at all. I've been very, very busy since then. Putting out adaptive rifle has been also good. I've been doing more of the sort of military or law enforcement like contract classes with with the the rifles. So I've just I've just been um, busy on a level that I've never been busy. And I don't know, like, well, it's it's a pain. Long, you've, you've known me a long time, Joel, a pretty long time, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it used to be like I'd have some free time, but now it's just like, go, go, go. Well, even back in the early days of me being on After Dark, it'd be like a group chat, like what days you guys want to record? I can do this day or this day. And then it turns into like Ben traveling. So I'm recording the show or even now to get you on my podcast, the training group one. It's like, what day are you going to be free? Oh, I've got this day. I have to pack and maybe you have one night or something. I mean, it, I mean being real talk, it sucks to even have you on as a guest for like, availability because you're you don't like your availability does it's pretty tight right now so yes i've been we're recording this what march 25th I, this is the busiest i've ever been and i'm you know i'm accustomed to being busy but i just i was gone in january for the entire month i had a three week long trip that went february into march you know like in in addition to other trips mixed in there so it's just it's been too tough for me to do a podcast. And uh, how has the listenership been on Training Group Live? So I pushed Joel to do a podcast for Training Group, mm -hmm. which has just, it's just serious shooting content, not really a lot of shenanigans. <laughs> that is true. There's not as much, uh, yeah, no shenanigans. Well, that was, you know, like originally After Dark had the kind of the, the shenanigans, the crazy talk. And then the Training Group one was just the tightly focused, mm -hmm. like training training podcast. Yeah. And since then, you've been too busy for a ton of shenanigans, or you could direct that to Instagram. So my podcast just kind of took over where, what, yours dropped off, I suppose? Yeah. Now, I do plan to bring After Dark back. I'm uh, kind of getting my life situated so I will have a little bit more free time, potentially after, you know, I don't know, July, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of things I want to do. Um, working on a dry fire book as well. What else? What else are we doing? Well, classes. More classes will be showing up on the training group website. Yeah, so we're going to have you organized classes that would just be like performance shooting fundamentals because we've been drawing a little bit of a different crowd to classes. You know? Well, well, I mean, we just had classes in Texas, I don't know, last week or two weeks ago, where, what, we set up a stage to show people, and it was maybe – of 25 people, what, maybe half of them had never shot a USPSA stage before? No, I think that's right. I think that's accurate. So there was a bunch of people there with, like, with duty gear and work ammo there to shoot with us. There was concealed carry people there, uh, just, you know, people interested in shooting, being fast and accurate, and however they choose to apply that or use that to whatever their career is or, you know, what they're doing. Yeah. So yeah, we're seeing a big a big shift in people just interested in being fast and accurate. Maybe they shoot USPSA, maybe they don't. Maybe it's for their work. But anyway, yeah, just shifting just shifting the a little bit to just performance shooting, whether it's a carbine or a handgun. Yeah. So yeah, we will be doing that. Um. All right. So what happens on this feed? Well, I guess back up. After Dark has changed a lot. Remember back in the day when it was the Practical Pistol show, it was just you and a and a microphone. It was like some little 15-minute ditty where you'd answer a couple questions. Now that 
terrible intro music that really sucked that you changed a couple times. Yes. So, yeah, it was, well, the podcast itself changed. I think it's gone through four sort of permutations. It was just me by myself. Then I started having guests. Mm -hmm. Then it was just me and guests. And then it was YouTube reformatted to After Dark, and we were just letting it rip. Yeah. Um, the the fifth version, I don't know. It'll be it'll be something. I have no doubt. I mean, I I miss doing the podcast. There's, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to talk about. I think it would be fun to look back on how things have worked out for USPSA, how things are going there. You know, <laughs> there's a a lot of things I'm sure would be amusing uh, to discuss, but that that time will come. I think in the near future. Well, since that time isn't today. Yeah. Uh, what do people look forward to that are already subscribing to your your feed? Uh, well, for the the audio feed, so this video will go to YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. But if people subscribe to the RSS feed for the the podcast proper, we're going to feed in the training group live episodes. We'll feed into that. So a little bit of backstory. So that'd be and Ben's talking about the PSAD, the Practical Shooting After Dark. Mm -hmm. It has like a pro shop logo on whatever you listen to podcasts on. So when I started doing the training group podcast, originally we had a paywall. So you would listen to, let's say, 60 percent, maybe 70 percent of the podcast for free. The back half, 25, 30 percent, whatever, was only available for training group members. And that was the way it was for maybe close to 100 episodes, something like that. So you had to be a training group member and you had to be inside the site to get the back half. We've since removed the paywall, so anything published from, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago going forward, everything is going to have the full episode for everyone to listen to, but those first, we'll call it 90 or 100 episodes with the full version haven't been available for free for, you know, just non-training group members to listen to. They So they haven't been available at all, and that's, it. it is, it's like 105 episodes now, is it, the show? I think, a uh, total 115 Ooh, geez. Total. So you have you've had a lot of guests on there that are interesting. So yeah. we'll we'll feed that into the RSS feed for after dark for the time being. Yep. So uh I'm already working with Pro Shop Tim on that. Don't hassle him about it. But it'll be likely one episode a week, and then we'll just trickle them out along the same schedule that people listen to after dark on. So, you know, if you've if you've listened to the free version in the past, now you'll actually get to listen to the back half that you didn't get to listen to previously. Yeah. Let's see anything else, Joel. I think I can think of. No. A lot of new classes are coming, by the way. Yeah. New stuff, so new stuff will be coming to light, man. <laughs> People looking to do a class with me, um, go to go to my website, bensteiger.com, click on take a class, scroll down, look at the calendar. The classes where there's openings, there's that might be interesting, pistol carbine classes in uh well in the Dallas area in June. And there's three weekends where you have a chance to get in the class. That'll be Pranka and I. So that would be interesting to a lot of people. I don't know where else there's openings. No, I don't think there is other classes I have with openings right now. But there's uh, there'll be a lot more added to my calendar as the uh, year goes on. Yeah, Ben and I are doing more classes together this year also. So if you want to yes. like, do one of those, get a hold of one of us. Also, we dropped a class dump of a full Ben and Joel class on YouTube. Yep, it'll be the video time. immediately previous to this one is the uh, true. The, the class dump. And it's been a popular video. People like that. I try to put one out one a year, you know. So it's all it's everything that we talked about on the range, whether talking about what to expect over a couple of days, all every drill, every, you know, group conversation we had all the way down to the ending kind of where to take your training. So it gives people a good idea of what a what a Ben and Joel class is like or there's full uh, just Ben class dumps on there. Also, you know, give you stuff to take to your training and uh, give you a good idea of what you're in for if you do a class with us. Yeah, and um, yeah, wow, that yeah, that video got a pretty good number of views. So yeah, so people seem to like it. Well, yeah, so that's it. So 
the big message training group or not training group <laughs> practical shooting after dark will come back in some form but for now we're going to run training group podcasts because i'm just too busy and i'm sorry hey it's previous previously unreleased it's it's came out of the archives for the people yeah i mean that's good i want people to have it but uh you know Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can't have us doing something new, but we'll we'll do something new. What maybe we should have a like a format of After Dark that you approve of, Joel? Like, there's no no cursing allowed. If I did that, you wouldn't have any fun. Well, I'd still have some fun, but yeah, probably <laughs> be less fun. Like the fun police. Yeah, the fun police. All right. Well, that's it.